Hi everyone. So like the title said, uh, one man and my boy forming up this 36 by 24 foot garage slab. So the reason I'm making the video is because I know there's a lot of you out there that are probably wondering just what it takes to form up a garage slab by yourself. And I do a lot of these by myself while Darren and Luke are off power trial on another floor we might have poured earlier in the morning, you know, and then I'll come set up a job for the next day or or the next week or whatever. But I so I form up a lot of these garage slabs by myself. Now my boy, he just he wanted to earn some money, so this is actually on the weekend. So I got him to come out with me on the weekend and, and put in some work and just teaching him some stuff about forming up some concrete slabs and so, he, you know, it's just a way for him to earn some money. But he was all about it. He, he was a good worker. So one man and a boy forming up a concrete slab. Now, the first thing I do is I obviously I just lay out my forms. I know it's 36 by 24 and it's a six inch slab. So I, I bring enough two by sixes for my two 36 foot sides and then my two 24 foot sides. And I get those all laid out flat on the ground first. And then I'll go around and I'll measure each length to make sure I'm long enough. Now, I'm okay if I'm over the length. You know, if I'm, a, if I'm a few inches over, then that's perfect. I just don't want to be under. And I don't necessarily want to be exact either. I like being a, a couple inches over so I can screw the corners together. Now, once I get the, the forms in place, then I'll use a smaller piece that I call it a scab and I'll scab the two forms together to make them one piece. And I like lining the top of that scab right up with the top of the form so it's nice and flush. That way I know as I'm screwing it together, I know I'm screwing the forms together nice and straight when I stand them up. Now as I'm screwing the forms all together, my boy is laying the metal pins around the outside we're going to use to stake the slab in place with. So he's, those are the 24 inch some of them are 36 inch metal stakes and they got some holes through them we use to screw the forms to grade with which you'll see me do here in a minute so after i get each side screwed together then i'll stand it up get it close to where i want it there i am measuring make sure i got my 24 foot whatever one and a half 24 foot two inches 24 foot three inches whatever i need for length before I get it screwed together and then I'll finish up that last side so this this is a little bit of a process I like using deck screws two and a half inch deck screws when I form I just, it just holds everything nice and tight it's easy to take the screws out and strip the forms after I don't have to pull and yank on the nails so now what I'm doing is I'm measuring my exact 24 feet so I always start with one side we hook it on one end I go 24 feet and then I mark that and then I know right where to screw the next form to. So what we'll do after we screw this corner together is we'll now we'll hold the end of the tape on this corner right here and I'm going to go down and mark my 36 foot length with a pencil mark and an X so I know right where to screw the next corner to. And that's how I do all the four corners. And once we get all the four corners together, now we got to check it the square. And that's what we're doing here is we're checking each diagonal to make sure we get the exact same measurement from, from corner to corner. And if we don't, then all I got to do is slide one side either one way or the other until we get the exact same measurement that I know my slab is square. And that's the way I've been squaring up my, my garage slabs like this for, you know, 35 to 40 years, and we've never had one out of square. So I'll double check. My measurement's perfect. Then I'm good. I can reel the tape up. And then the next thing I do is I stake my four corners. So I'll put two stakes on each corner, one on each side, to hold the corners in place so they don't move. This, this gravel here was packed really, really hard, too. They put... They dug out about two feet of fill in here, that loomy, grassy sod. And then he he brought in this three-quarter inch crushed gravel and rolled it and rolled it. He compacted it really hard. So now the boy the boy's running the string for me. That was his first time running the string. 
and we use that string to keep to make sure the boards are straight when we go to put in the rest of the, the form stakes. So I finish I finish doing the corners, and then I, I screw a deck screw into each corner that he can hook the string to. And now we have a nice straight string to go by when we put in all the, the forming stakes around the perimeter. Now I'm going to show him how to tie that string here. That's what I'm doing is I'm explaining to him how I wrap it around the screw. And then I, I put my little knot in it, my little slip knot, so it holds it nice and tight. And it's, it's really fast to do. So I'm kind of teaching him the ropes here as we go. Um, he's 10 years old, so maybe he'll want to do this someday with me. Now we're just double checking, make sure nothing moved when I when I stake the corners, making sure that when we go to pour the slab that this thing's perfectly square and it's going to be easy to build off from. This only takes a minute. I, I, I didn't see anything move when I put the stakes in, but it only takes a, a minute to double check. And that's probably why I've never really had one out of square, because I always take the time to double check everything. Now I'm going to go around and I'm going to use that string, and I'm going to put in all the rest of the stakes. I do each uh, scabbed area first, and then I'll fill in about every four to five feet in between those. To make sure I got plenty of form stakes holding these boards straight. This is probably the hardest part of the whole job, really, of pounding these things in. Especially when the gravel is really, really uh, dense. They went in pretty hard here. So that's the frame. Now the frame's up, screwed together, staked in place, all nice and square. So then the last thing we got to do here is we got to set it to grade. I'm going to show you, I get my laser out, and I'm going to show you how I set everything to grade. So I, I put my laser legs down, I get them pretty level. This is a self-leveling laser. It's a Topcon RL-H5B. Uh, I got a link for this down in the description. So what I'm doing is I'm teaching my boy exactly what a laser does, a self-leveling laser, and why I use it, and why that thing that thing shoots out a laser beam once it's level. And the laser beam is just something to measure off from. So we need something to measure off from to get those forms perfectly level. And I'm going to use the receiver that comes with the laser to do that. And then I have a grade stick that also has a ruler on it, a three-foot ruler. And then I can use the ruler, the numbers on the grade stick, to get my exact level that I want. I'm going to go about a six-inch average above the dirt grade. So I go around and I, you know, I'll shoot the top of the form first just to see how level it is sitting right on the ground. And then sometimes I'll even take an average of the dirt, and that's where I'll, I'll raise my grade up six inches to get the top of the form. I always like setting the top of the form right to grade if I can, right to finish concrete grade. So what I'm doing right now is I'm getting a number off of that ruler according to the receiver. The receiver's going to read that laser beam. And that's what I'm showing him. And when it reads it, it has a solid beep to it. It also has a solid line on it. When it needs to go up or down a little bit, it has a slow beep and a fast beep telling you you got to go up or you got to go down. So I'm going to go around and I'm going to get an average of the top of the form the way it sits right now. And that could be, you know, on, on a ruler like that, I got from 1 inches to 36 inches. So I could be around... I don't know, 15 or 16 right there on the ruler looking at it. So if I'm shooting about 15 on there, 15 to half, 15 to quarter, you know, I just want to end up getting an average of that. And then I'll check and make sure I got my six inches in the gravel area. And then I can use that. I'll set that to either, let's say I set it to 15 and a half, right where the receiver is. Now we'll go around and set everything right to 15 and a half to make sure it's perfectly level. And while I'm shooting each each corner and then where each scab is, you know, I taught the boy how to use the screw gun and screw, and he can screw at the grade. Now I'm teaching him how to hold the grade stick nice and straight and level for me so I can lift the form up as I screw it. 
And that's how we set everything level to grade. We'll go around and do the four corners, we'll do a rescab is, and then we'll do in between each stake. Now the forms are perfectly level and set to grade. And the last thing I got to do here today is just put the wire mesh in. So if you want to learn how to do this, you know, how to how to form, pour, and finish concrete slabs, I got a, my concrete slab course is down in the description below. You can also learn how I do that in the concrete underground, which is in the description below. I can teach you both of those. Um, but this is how we do a concrete slab. This is a 36 by 24. We're going to come back and pour this in the next day or two. So I'll have that video up here pretty soon. But again, if you haven't subscribed yet, please go down there and hit subscribe now. If you like these kind of videos, I come out with two a week, Mondays and Fridays. Hit the like button. And again, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.